Hey people, welcome back. I hope you have been practicing the grip on the flute and learned the technique of blowing into it. I know it takes a while to get used to, but it is necessary and of course extremely rewarding. This is the Silent Flautist tutorial series and I am the Silent Flautist Vivek, your tutor, friend and flute coach. In today's video, we will be learning the difference between sound or nadar and musical note or swara. We will also be learning the seven musical notes and their names, the Saptaswara. This forms an introduction to the theory of Indian classical music. We will also be learning to play the notes on the flute and the flute, first flute exercise. So let's jump to it. What is a Swara or a musical note? To understand Swara, we first need to understand what sound or nada is. Sound or nada through the eyes of physics is nothing but vibration. In fact, so much so that sound is measured as the number of vibrations or cycles per second, which is known as frequency, the unit being hertz. The human ear is typically said to have a range of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, which in the context of Indian classical music theory will be known as Ahatnad, while the infrasonic and the ultrasonic frequencies below 20 Hz and above 20,000 Hz will be known as Anahatanad. There is definitely a lot more to the philosophical theory of the concept of Anahatanad which leads to various metaphysical revelations. But that discussion would be for another day. So to put it simply, Nada or sound which is selected or used for music Sangeet is called a swara or a musical note. That is as simple as I can make it be. There are seven musical notes. You must have heard of it. Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Dha, Ni. This set of seven notes is called the Sapta Swara. Sapta meaning seven and swara like we just saw, musical note. In the Indian theory of music, Musical notes are said to be relative to a bass frequency. This bass frequency can be anything, but once chosen, the other six notes are calculated and positioned with respect to this frequency. Hence, this note, the first bass note is called the Sa or the Shaj. Shat meaning six and J which means that which gives birth to. So that which gives birth to the six, Shaj. Then we have the other two technical notes, ma or madhyama, which is the fourth note, which means what is in the middle, as there are three notes before it and three notes after it. The fifth note is called the panchama. Pancha means five. The other notes are rishabha, the second note, gandhara, the third note, dhevata, the sixth note, and nishada, the seventh note. Together, they are called the Saptaswara. With this basic theory, let's get to playing them on the flute. So, this is our first lesson, the long notes. So, I hope you now have a good grip of your flute and can blow into it with ease. If you haven't yet, check out this video and play along with the video and practice the basic blowing technique. The next step is to internalize the seven notes and to train the brain in the blowing strength and the finger positions required to play the seven notes on the flute. Let us start with the Sa or the Shad. To play a Sa with the three finger grip like this, close holes one, two and three. Take a deep breath and blow into the flute to produce a steady sound. Make sure you keep extending the Sa in your mind. You may think it is silly but it is actually you telling your brain to slowly remember the position of the sa on the flute. So here goes. Good. Now once more, take one full breath and play the note once again in one breath. Try to elongate it as much as possible. 15 seconds is the most desirable for most beginners.
Now let's go to the second note, which is Re or Rishabh. To play the Re with the Sa in position, all you have to do is open hole number three, which is lift your ring finger. And again, keeping the Re syllable constant in your mind, take a deep breath and blow into the flute. Here goes. I hope you're trying it with me. Good. Don't forget to keep extending the syllable in your mind as you play it. Let's try again. Let's go to the next note then. G or Gandhar. I think you would have figured out a little pattern here. Yes. Now open hole number two, which has been closed by your middle finger. Perfect. Keeping the G syllable in mind, take a deep breath and blow into the flute to produce a steady sound. Here goes. That felt good. Let's do it one more time. Take a deep breath, keeping the girl syllable in mind, blow into the flute, steady take. Good. The next note is the fourth note, Madhyama or Ma. This note is slightly tricky. Watch closely. To play this note, do not open the entire whole one. Just open around 30% of it. With that, keep the three finger grip. Hole number one to be opened 30%. Yes, this is the correct position. Now, let, let us get on with it. Take a deep breath and blow into it. Getting a hang of it? Good. Let's do it one more time then. Take a deep breath with the mer syllable in your mind. Slowly blow into the flute. Again, just to show you the position, this is the position. Do not open it more or do not open it less. Just enough. 30%. Before we go to the next note, if you are enjoying your lesson, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Please click on the bell icon to get regular updates. Now, let's go to the fifth note, P or Pancham. To play the Pancham, we have to close all the holes. That is, hole number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the last one with the ring finger, hole number 6. Ensure you use the sense of touch and feel the entire circumference of the hole and know that it is closed. Now the blowing will slightly change here. You need to stretch the lower lip a little more and make the blowing orifice created by your lower lip even smaller to increase the pressure. With this, take a deep breath and then play the note. Good. Please note, we don't need the lower sound, this one, or the higher one. This is what we need. Nice. Now, we go to the next note. The sixth note is Dha or Dhevata. In order to play the Dhevata, you have to lift the ring finger of the hand below, which will reveal hole number 6. 
So this is the right position to play with Hayward. Hole numbers one, two, three, four, and five closed, and hole number six is open. Take a deep breath and with a dh syllable in mind. That's right. Now the blowing remains just like it was for Pancham. Your lower lip is stretched, and the upper lip will direct a pressurized uh, air stream into the flute. Let's try one more time. Brilliant. Now let's go to the last note, which is the knee. Or the nishada. To play the nishada, you close hole number one, two, three, and four. So basically, from the position of the, you rip open the hole number five, which is closed by your middle finger. With that, keep the knee syllable in mind, and with the pressurized blowing that we learned for per. Good. I'm glad you're getting a hang of it. One more time. Good. Now we've covered the seven notes, but it sounds kind of incomplete. So in order to complete it, we will stop at the ta rasharj or the sa, which is higher to the initial sa. The position for the sa remains the same. That is holes number one, two, and three closed. The last sa or the higher sa will be played by using the pressurized blowing technique that we learned for per. So instead of the slow blowing technique, we will use a pressurized blowing. Let's try it. Take a deep breath with the sa syllable in mind. Brilliant. Let's try it one more time. Take a deep breath. The sa syllable in mind. Holes one, two, three closed. Good. With that, we come to the end of our first lesson. I hope you are enjoying the process of learning till now. Please understand that this exercise. which we call the long notes is one of the most important exercise in learning to play the flute because this it's in itself is a pranayam which will not only make your breathing more efficient while playing the flute it will also make sure that your brain understands and comprehends the positions of the fingers and your breathing required to play a note this is how we train our brain for muscle memory Now let me summarize the entire video for you. We learned the difference about sound which is nad and swar which is a musical note. Sound is any sound that is either audible or inaudible. The audible sound is called the ahat nad while the inaudible sounds are called anahat nad. In the ahat nad there are seven musical notes that we take into consideration. Sa the shadj re ऋषभ ग गंधार म मध्यम प पंचम ध धैवत इन्नी निषाद द फिंगर पोजिशन्स एंड द ब्लोइंग टेक्निक इज गिवन इन दिस टेबल राइट हियर आई हैव ऑल्सो हैड अ लिंक पोस्टेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन विद विच यू कैन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ विद द फिंगर पोजिशन्स दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो If you are enjoying what you are seeing and enjoying the process of learning, consider supporting this channel and consider supporting me by either becoming a sponsor to Patreon or making a one-time contribution to any of these methods mentioned in the description below. Or else, just consider subscribing to this channel, liking the video, and sharing it to somebody who is trying to learn the flute. 
that would be a big help so with that the silent plotist is signing off for today thank you happy learning happy practicing and enjoy <laughs>